What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Career Mode. This is episode number 10 and today we are returning with three more games with Nottingham Forest as we close out the calendar year. we got Hull City away at the KCOM on Boxing Day, then Wigan Athletic at home three days later and then we've got Blackburn Rovers at home as the January transfer window is going to open in today's episode as well. Plus an academy update and a scouting report too, so loads to get through, let's just get straight to it. But right before the first game we do have two very interesting emails here. First our chief executives let us know that Sammy Amiobi is at a contract coming the end of the season and therefore could be poached away on a free transfer by another club in January but as I said before totally fine with that he's only scored one goal all season long that was away at Ellen Road and no assists either so yeah just haven't really got enough out of Amiobi this season for me to give him a new contract but another bid here comes in for Zach Clough Benevento the Italian side wants him for just shy of 900 grand could possibly get a little bit more for him he's only 24 but he doesn't really play so I'm fine accepting that offer there. So first game of the three today as we're away at the KCOMs take on Hull City who right now sit in the relegation zone with just three wins in their first 23 games at a halfway point in the season and right now only one point behind Leeds United and four behind the Baggies who lead the league. A win today could put us into the top two for the first time in quite a few weeks. Four straight wins, four straight clean sheets, let's make it five straight wins and five straight clean sheets. Come on, not in a forest. He's okay on the ball, you know, young Mason. There's Worrell slides it through to Brennan. And I'll try and find Lolly with a nice little through ball there. Can he keep it in play? He can indeed. He might need a teammate here, Joe. Or he'll take it himself and try and catch the goalkeeper out. Who stops him at the near post. Good start by Nottingham Forest, but still yet to find the opening goal. George Honeyman down the right. Mason with the interception, though. Play it back to Samba as we shall clear the danger away. One of those games where you think to yourself, surely that first goal is coming at some point. But as I give possession away cheaply, Samba makes the block. But Honeyman turns in the rebound. Individual error, that's my fault. Come on, come on, we shouldn't lose the whole city. They haven't won a game here all season long at home. Lolly shot off the post and the Tigers will escape. I'm not going to panic, half an hour in, still down by a goal, but it's been all Nottingham Forest, really. Surely at some point, we're going to get a rubber to green and get ourselves that equalising goal as Carvalho gets a bit of luck there and finds the man in form. Ollie Watkins, oh! You put your house on him to score that. The longer this goes on, the more I start to worry. This might just be one of those games where things don't go according to plan. Ribeiro down the left, looking for Sammy. And he should get on the end of that. And it's a nice ball through. And, ah, oh, come on. Ribeiro down the left, into Watkins, on the turn, gets away. And it's saved by Ingram. I'm just, I'm just starting to feel nervous now. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, surely not, Samba. Jeez. Ribeiro to Travis, to Lolly. Da Costa, is he on? Is he on? Oh, no! God! It's yours. There we go, Ribeiro. Now Johnson to Travis. And that wide is Cash. And I'll try and send Acosta through again. And surely... Yes! Yes, pick the ball up. Come on! Now we'll just cross. Worrell, heads clear. It'll come straight back to Hull. I can't get the ball off them. I literally cannot get the ball off them. It's Stuart. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, just wide corner for Hull City in stoppage time. So the best we can do now is get a point and ooh, we're just about going to get it. Well, that will do it then. Final score 1-1 and we've probably blown a great chance to go into the top two. So frustrating, man. I mean, we had so many chances. How did I only score one goal in that? I think these stats are quite deceiving, to be honest. I always present my highlights package fairly. Hull played well, but even if the stats suggest otherwise, I thought we played better. Oh, and Leeds drew at home to Preston as well. Bottled a chance to go back into the top two. So second of three games in six days today as we take on Wigan Athletic, who right now sit just outside the playoffs in seventh place. On the back of that draw, if we are to get back in the top two, we need to get back to winning ways. So whilst five games without a defeat is decent, it's not good enough for automatic promotion. So second of three big games in quick succession today, Wigan Athletic, let's return to winning ways. Also a big decision in our starting lineup. Did you see it? No Mason Watson, no Ollie Watkins. The latter is on the bench today. A little bit tired, no goals in two games. So the Costa who scored our leveller is going to start this one. Samba to Ryan. And I'll look to feed the Costa through here. And he's back-heeled it well to Joe Lolly, who should have made it 1-0. 
But a rebound is turned in. Thiago Silva with the goal. And Nottingham Forest have the early break for exactly what we need when the top scorer is on the bench. We're going to get to get going in the game. We've stood pretty firm thus far. But golden chance here. And what an interception by Ryan Yates. Worrell to Gaetan Bong. And the left back is going to step in field. Finds Thiago Silva. And now Da Costa. And Silva beaten away by Marshall. This has been such an uneventful game. As the header in on goal is easily caught by the Scott. But I won't mind. One goal might be enough to get us back to winning ways. That's fine with me. Ah, and Charlie Austin's just put West Brom in front of the Hawthorns there. I saw Leeds were winning at half-time as well. So we'll still be third after this win if we can hold on to it. Almost there, lads. It's Dia Carby. He's got a lot of space to run into down the right and a chance to make it two. And that'll wrap the points up. He's all alone, Dia Carby. And he's made it two. And that will do it. Kept his composure one-on-one -on -one, and we're back to winning ways with the backup brigade. Well, it's been a really uneventful game, but late on with Wigan tired, Dia Carby storms forward, still has the pace, still has the energy and has the clinical finish as well. I like what I've seen from this guy in limited minutes this season, I must say. He scored five goals for us this season. Five. That's really, really impressive. So back to winning ways for Nottingham Forest right before the Blackburn Rovers clash. Exactly what we needed here. And without question, definitely deserved a win as well. 65% possession today. Some of the football we played was really nice. But unfortunately, Leeds won at St Andrews and West Brom beat the Borough at home. So that means despite the win, we remain in third. And I do feel there's a gap developing now between the top three and the chasing back as well. With five clear of Stoke and Cardiff City in 4th and 5th. That's what we want to see. We want to pull away from the rest of the teams in the playoffs and keep ourselves in the race for the top two. But as the first month finally comes around, the transfer market is now open and we do see that Zach Clough's transfer talks have sadly broken down. But we've got a scouting update and also an academy update as well. So let's get to this first. Continue the scouting on him and him. I'll reject him, no. And I'll reject Ethan Bell. Continue his scouting, reject him, and definitely reject him. But as for our academy, guess who says he wants to stay 15 forever? Marco! Come on, man! Turn 16! The potential range now is setting, and it's now 85 to 94, so the minimum he should be is exciting prospect. But I think he'll have potentially special, but we won't be able to find out. He's still 15. He's never going to turn 16. And as Ben and Wayne and Smith have now officially left the club, we say thank you for your service and farewell. But as you see the budget here, now £2.8 million, and you'll see the shortlist now too, I just don't know if we're going to sign anyone in January. You know, we're in third place right now, right behind Leeds in second place. If we're going to sign someone I really want, we might need to sell another player. And I don't really want to do that. Plus, I wouldn't mind playing the pre-contract game too. So, some great targets here. But I think they're more Season 2 possibilities. Still, you never know. We might still pick someone up. But for our third and final game today on New Year's Day, we take on Blackburn Rovers right now sat in mid-table. And as we're playing this game, the top two are playing each other. Yes, West Brom play host to Leeds United at the Hawthorns. And I would like to see West Brom win this game. Because whilst they'll extend the gap at the top of the table... That means we could overtake Leeds by two points. So come on the baggies, win that game. You can have the title if we finish as runners-up. Third and final game regardless is Blackburn Rose home. Let's get a big victory here and make it two from two to end today's episode. So at the moment, I'm feeling so much more nervous in these kind of games. I don't know what it is really as Mason wins it back here. But I just feel like these are the games that we're going to slip up in. As we can possibly start a break here. Johnson to Ribeiro. And out wide is Sammy. And can I roll it through to Watkins? No. It'll come back to Amiobi. Chance remains alive. Sammy to Travis. He'll have a go. Off the crossbar. So close. Hey, that's yours. Well done. Um, poke it through if you can. Watkins. Nice ball. Jao Carvalho. Golden chance. Carvalho's done well. Watkins is there. Denied. Lolly. Also denied. This might well end up being like the whole game as the rock flies in there. I'll give it to him back. He deserves it. And now Johnson. And now Watkins. And Ollie scuffs the shot and puts it wide. Yeah, this is going to be like the whole game, I think. So many chances, but just don't score enough. That's yours, Brennan. That's yours. Well done. And now Mason takes over. And does very well there to feed it through to Travis. 
And now Jao Carvalho. Oh, it's saved. 45 minutes away from our second draw in three. And no goals in three for Oli as well. Come on, mate. Get the goals in. And West Brom are in front of the Hawthorns against Leeds as well. So once again, for the second time today, we'll be blowing a chance to move into the top two unless we can find a winner. Watson to Matty. And forward we come again. It's like a training exercise here. Defence versus attack. Joe sends Yao Carvalho down the line. And he's lost it. And Blackburn clear. They're not interested in getting goals. I don't think they've seen our penalty area today. Travis. Watkins. Oh, come on. Take that bloody magnet out of the ball. Honestly, second time we've hit the woodwork today. Joe getting away. Dinking it in. Oh. 18 minutes to go. Ollie's really struggled in today's episode, but if he can come up clutch and win it late on, I'll forgive him. Johnson. Oh, third time in the game. Travis, win it, win it, win it. Well done, well done, well done. Six minutes remain. Matty, Lewis, Brennan. Can't find space. Carvalho. Yes! Finally! Ollie Watkins wins it! Oh, yes! Goal scorer for Nottingham Forest! Number 24, Ollie Watkins! Oh, my word! Chance after chance after chance. And what did I say? I'll oh, forgive him if he comes up clutch. That's what it means. Come on. My goodness gracious me. Virtually out of breath. And as we were virtually out of time, we finally break the deadlock to win it at the death. Ollie Watkins coming up big time. Would have been absolutely fuming had we not won this game. Hit the woodwork three times in the match. The only team in it. The only team that wanted to score today, and finally we did. Yes, and there we see it as well. West Brom beat Leeds by two goals to nil. So, despite blowing it in the first game today, we have now moved in to the top two. Two clear of Leeds with, what, 21 games to go? Oh, we could do this. We could pull away now. And that will end today's episode of the Lockdown Career Mode as well, guys. So a massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for next episode very soon, featuring some massive battles in the championship, our FA Cup third round tie, and also perhaps a new signing as well. Much love, and I'll see you for it very soon.